That's a bit more ahead. It's time to engage Genki Scan, right? It's about time. And it's actually actually he started trouble because he's bothering Edinburgh. And Edinburgh is a, one of my loyal city states, so it deserves some protection. So let me try to clean the Mongolian from here. Uh -huh, yep, yeah, that it's an Edinburgh worker, so so yours, buddy. So we can keep building a good relationship. I don't really need more workers, so well, if I need it, well, maybe I can keep it. But uh, again, I'm trying to build some good neighbors. Sir. <laughs> so all about having some good neighbors. Okay. Let me see. I think there's something else on. Damn! Now he has any more turns? Really? Wow. That screwed up. Okay, I got my knights in front. Let me see if we can go back a little bit, otherwise they're gonna get there. They're gonna get bombarded. Mm -hmm. uh, no more turns, what the hell? Ah, crap. Really? Can't attack from there? Alright, what the hell happening here? <laughs> Even I'm getting confused. Uh, it looks like we have a ghost army in there. Trying to figure out what the hell happened, but in any case, this, this Mongolian city is gonna be—it's gonna be trouble. I can tell you right now, it's gonna be be really, really, really trouble. Uh, I see, I'm using some trebuchet now on my long sword, man. Those are my actually my legion star are become. A little bit more powerful. <laughs> so as we move ahead in time, you are able to do some upgrades, and uh, that's the direct upgrade from the Legion. It's a long sword one. So uh, my ballistas are getting upgraded to Trebuchet, right? Trebuchet will be my my new artillery. See, it's getting ugly. This guy is moving, but uh, it's gonna be trouble to try to conquer the Mongolian city uh, because of the terrain as I was telling you a couple times already uh, look, at, look at Samark Samark Tamarkand okay where it's located it's very difficult I don't think I got enough room to put my artillery my and my melee units in such a very 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 reduced uh, space that's kind of trouble so that's why you need to do more planning when you do attacking in civilization 5 there's no there's no room for mistakes unfortunately and sometimes the, ter the terrain can really 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 make the big difference it's not like in revolution um, even in civilization 4 you can just pile pile units in the same tile and yeah, everybody attacking from the same position that I don't think that is realistic, as I probably say already. So, I'm kind of glad they do this, right? So we have a couple cannons now. Um, let's see if we can get rid of those guys. This guy is going over here because he's almost ready to die. Uh, what is that? So, mm, okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can use the other sword. Ah, uh, two turns, really? Okay. Moving ahead a little bit. Let's go for it. I'm trying to not sacrifice, but I'm trying to use all those units so they can get upgraded. Nice. Yeah. Let's return our worker. Let's keep building French. Friend, friend, friends. So, okay. Look at the. See? It's happy because of the. We were able to protect Edinburgh from Genghis Khan. Which is pretty good. Now we have some good relationships, and I'm sure I'm gonna keep receiving some troops from them. It's very, very nice. Okay, so now I got a couple ballistas. Uh, my knights in front. I need to be able to move my artillery if I want to destroy the the defenses of that Mongolian city because otherwise it's gonna be trouble, right? Won't be able to get there that easily. But still, I'm ahead in technology. 
regard uh, compare with him but uh that doesn't mean that you can just go ahead and attack a city right that doesn't actually work that way it's very difficult it's not that easy and the strength of that city Samarkand is uh, 15 so kind of scary all right I gotta do something to take my my knights out of the way because this guy is just moving ahead with this pigman all right so that's why it's so strategic so this is the beauty of this game this is why you guys are probably gonna enjoy just the fighting part uh, is how you move your troops and uh, across the map right if you're familiar with games like a total war this is very similar at this point you just need to plan your attack uh, see at this point I put the long swordman up front so they can take all the they can take the hit okay see for the two pigmen otherwise those knights will be dead by now because remember the pigmen has bonus against uh, mount uh, units right oh we got to we can do the carabel well that's good okay another great general let's move it to the battlefield in front and try to protect the probably with a lone swordman or a knight depending uh, now we can go for uh, navigation probably let me see let me see so we can get the fragate uh, well let's give it a shot alright now automatic healing because unfortunately I don't have that many chuck units so I'm just gonna heal instead of use my my uh, upgrade to my promotion for another more interesting bonus right hey by the long swordsman are doing the job oh yeah now I gotta move my catapults to get a little I, I, I almost say messy but it's not messy it's beautiful the way it's designed so uh, can I take more is it, it require a lot more planning this stuff right um, Samarkand right now is is only giving me like a two tiles to move and I gotta move all those troops I, I'm already have a bottleneck in there so I can move only one troop at a time so it, it, it is kinda complicated I don't really wanna move my troops too far into enemy territory because otherwise it's gonna be kinda complicated they can get bombarded by the city like it just happened um, and I know the long swordsmen are they can take take the the heat a little bit but uh, still they can they can probably go down uh, very soon and uh, you don't wanna actually left your yeah, this streamer is doing nothing let me just keep it hanging around in there um, you don't wanna keep your artillery in front right that's too risky too dangerous alright so now we can build some musket man which is good we have eight irons that you guys can see in the top and four horses available for construction for units so um, let's see maybe we can go for the uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, let me get an extra knight just in case I know he has a lot of archers that's what I was looking at so probably it's a good idea to do that right let me see I'm gonna need to move deeper unfortunately that's the only way I have yeah from there mm -hmm. Yeah, the trebuchet that's more damage so I don't know if I'll be able I don't think I can reach it from there damn it well the next video definitely is gonna be more up to date the remember the next video is gonna be we're gonna be playing full gods of um and King's expansion I'm already got it I'm playing a little bit not that much I just want to be able to play with you guys live and trying to learn all together remember we they bring it by a uh, they're bringing back religion and uh, espionage so <laughs> can't wait trust me and uh, that doesn't mean that we're gonna rush this one but still it's just a very slow game uh, 
I mean, it's gonna get very, very good once that we have religion again in Civilization 5, right? It's one of the things that everybody was wondering why the hell they decide to remove uh, religion for the Civilization 5. I mean, it never was included. They, they, they have it in mind. Unfortunately, it was too much programming and too much stuff, so they just decided to release the game like that. And then now it's an expansion, they, they can add their religion and the espionage because they for what I was reading they were trying to add some special special things it's just no plain it's not the same way that it works in the in in civilization four okay in religion for example you can have only one religion and it doesn't go out your border so it is it, it works a little bit different and I think they do a really good job I just can't wait to play it so let's see if we can play the finish the adventure with the Roman and get into some gods and kings because I know that's why everybody wants to play right? including me <laughs> trust me so we have a caravel which is pretty a very decent naval unit unfortunately it can go to open sea so it's kinda difficult sometimes to try and make sure that you get located in a good in a good way in a good place okay now I got my trebuchet with a, an upgrade with my long swordsman to the back uh, let me see. Bam, bam. We can probably bombard these guys again. Or uh, I hate to waste. Uh, yeah, I hate to waste the uh, upgrades. That's not a trebuchet. That was actually my ballista. Upgrades with uh, just regular auto healing. Sometimes it's necessary, right? You wanna keep your elite units in play. There you go. This goes to an extra attack against cities and that will give me the bonus I need. Okay, moving ahead, moving ahead guys. This is getting funny. Okay, let me get in position for the next turn attack. Um yep, stay alert. I still have Tremere here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It's not that useful at this point. I can just use it to do some. There you go. It's time to start using the ballista again. Um, to an exploration. Okay, that didn't slow down some can at all. <laughs> so I really need to move my cannons front. So okay. Right now it's getting a little more complicated, so we don't really want to mess around right now. Okay, it's getting extremely uh, expensive to build units, and uh, you want to make sure they can live as much as they can. Uh, oh, those long swordsmen are still alive, I can't believe it. Look that they're going down very soon, so you gotta be careful. Mm hmm. What are you doing over there, Mr. Trimmer? Hanging around? It's like a cruise? Jesus Christ, you're not doing anything, buddy. I think I'm gonna need to sacrifice you. <laughs> the Caesar is getting pissed. Oh, you don't wanna see that. Ah, uh, these guys are getting good. Let's go back into action with the Pikmans. Because I need some force in that battlefield. I don't wanna leave my my army of, uh, I mean my trebuchet and my ballista being defended just for... Okay, so, Lone Sorman, get out of there. <laughs> Run for your life, buddy. E yeah, my trebuchet. The trebuchet really makes a difference right now. But uh, I don't really... Actually, I should start uh, upgrading some more units, but... Hmm, it's kind of risky to embark my troops, but unfortunately I don't have space. I need goddamn space. Otherwise, I'm more in trouble. Bad up. Hmm. Okay. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. All right. We'll continue in a uh, next video. What's gonna happen against Genghis Khan?